Hello, what's up? My name is Kaylee, and today I'm going to be doing a book talk on Shout by Lori Halls Anderson. Now, before we get into the video, I just want to preface that I'm going to be talking about some serious topics such as sexual assault as well as some mentions of depression, drug addiction, and alcoholism. So, I just figured I would warn you before getting into it. The subject of the book is Lori Halls Anderson herself, and it is an autobiography. Specifically, the book entails all of her major life events, including early childhood, her high school years, her college years, her first jobs, and the multiple moves she made throughout her life, as well as writing and publishing speak as a catharsis for her own sexual assault and what that meant for her career. I would say that the language and style accurately reflects the values of the time that we live in. Thankfully, as times have progressed, we're more aware of sexual assault and how deadly and dangerous it is in today's world. It is truly an epidemic as evident by, by the book and shows that it can happen to anyone regardless of who they are, what they might be wearing, or who they're with. Anderson's anger towards sexual assault and many people who commit those atrocious acts or those that defend the people that commit them is a mutual feeling with many people in the world, myself included. The book also shines light on victim blaming, blaming and silencing of victims when they come forward about sexual assault, which is something that sadly happens way too often. While that isn't, isn't right, it's realistic to the world we live in and the only thing we can do to change it is to speak out about it which Shout helps to do. Although there is still a long way to go to help stop sexual assault, Shout reminds victims that they are valid in their pain and that they can speak up without feeling guilty or ashamed. For those who aren't victims, it can serve as a reminder to readers to believe victims and that sexual assault isn't as black and white as it may seem. Shout is a sad reminder of how the world views sexual assault, but also inspires us to do better and continue to speak out. Some of the important events in the story are the beginning when Anderson is talking about her parents' background during the Holocaust, when she was raped at 13, her trip that she took to Denmark, her college years, her first job, the process of writing speak, and the aftermath that comes from it. Now, before she was born, her parents Specifically, her father witnessed the atrocities of the Holocaust and what he faced while at Dachau. It's important because it showed how her father suffered from depression and alcoholism, as well as why her parents had some of the problems that they did. Anderson's rape was a life-changing experience because of how traumatizing it was and how her life would never be the same. It's also important because it was by someone that she thought she could trust, which shows Anyone can commit the monstrous act, no matter who they may be. Her trip to Denmark was for an exchange program during her senior year of high school. While there, she made friends and found herself, yet, yet she also found out that her grandfather died as a result of a nuclear power plant exploding outside of Pennsylvania. According to Anderson, she writes in the book that her home in Denmark taught her how to speak again, how to reinterpret darkness and light, strength and softness. It offered me a chance to reorientate my compass, redefine my true north, and start all over. Also, while she was in Denmark, her parents changed and separated, but her father came back nine months later. While in college, both community college and at the University of Georgia, Anderson was stalked by professors who wanted more than a typical teacher-student relationship from her. One of her most memorable jobs early in her career was when she worked as a, as a courthouse reporter. The case happened to be a rape case and the jury didn't believe the girl, but rather let, let her rapist go with a slap on the wrist. It came back to haunt her when she saw the man again in the future while out with her daughter. Anderson first got the idea for Speak when she, she was having continuous nightmares about her own sexual assault and hoped that writing a story would help her process it. Following the release of Speak, Anderson's words touched the hearts of many. 
Thousands of people reached out to her through book signings and social media, thanking her for her words and for allowing them to not feel alone. As the book gained traction, she began to do book tours, but some were cu cut, off, cut off due to administrations sabotaging them, especially for those book t tours that took place at schools. It also didn't take long for parents to get involved and censor the book, deeming it inappropriate. Overall, Shout detailed all the ups and downs of Lori Hall's Anderson's life and how she has served as an inspiration and safe space for many. The theme of Shout is sexual assault and how important it is to be educated on sexual assault and to take a stand against it. As someone who experienced it firsthand, Lori Halls Anderson knows how easily it can be swept under the rug and how victims are to be blamed for it rather than the assaulter. She created the book not only to tell her own story, but to also show readers how complex and haunting sexual assault can be and how the effects can last a lifetime. It also shows how when it comes to sexual assault, there is no such thing as not as bad. Any type of un warranted advancements are unacceptable and should be taken seriously and treated with care and respect. It also shows that it's important to believe victims because they shouldn't be subjected to literal hell and then be questioned or doubted about it. Shout demonstrates the disturbing and how, how disturbing and despicable sexual assault is, as well as how we need to do everything we can to stand up for those who have been victims and put a stop to it. Now, for my personal opinion, there are many aspects of Shout that I enjoyed. I enjoyed how Lori Halls Anderson used this extremely traumatic event that happened to her and harnessed it cre creatively as a form of catharsis, as well as to help people feel a little less alone in the world. There are many instances in life where we can't control what happens to us, but we can control how we process it. By writing Speak and Shout, she was able to connect with millions of people and finally confront what happened in her youth. On a similar note, I liked the quote that she put in the book, which was, Aunt Lori says, follow your nightmares instead, because when you figure out what's eating you alive, you can slay it. I found that to be very true, because you'll never really find peace unless you confront your demons. I also like what she had to say about censorship. It's hard to believe that censorship is still a hot topic in today's day and age, but I absolutely agree with how she views it. She said in the book that censorship is the child of fear and the father of ignorance and the desperate weapon of fascists. I feel like that was accurate because a lot of times adults don't want their children to learn about certain things because they want to protect them or ensure that they have a certain viewpoint. However, students are probably just going to learn about those things anyway. If children aren't educated on different viewpoints, they're just going to remain ignorant and only look at things a certain way. The last part that I gravitated towards in the book was a poem that she wrote on consent. In the poem, Yes Please, she writes about how important it is for someone to say yes before you can do anything with them. So often it's asked, did you say no? When the real question should be, did you say yes? Overall, Shout was an enjoyable read, and I found myself agreeing with a lot of the content that was written in the book. Shout has quite the history behind it. 20 years prior to Shout, Lori Halls Anderson wrote a novel called Speak. The novel follows Melinda, who is a freshman at Mary Weather High, High School, and she has no friends after calling the cops during a party the summer before she before when she was raped. Before long, sh she remains silent all together and only feels peace whenever she's in her art class. As, as time passes, Melinda is able to come to terms with what happened to her and becomes brave enough to tell her story. The novel was adapted into a film in 2004 that starred Kristen Stewart as Melinda. While the book and film were not based on Anderson's life, she took inspiration from her own experiences. Just like with Speak, Shout has won awards. Some of, the, some of the awards it won were the National Book Award for Young People's Literature 
and the Goodreads Choice Award for Poetry in 2019. In 2020, it won the Booklist Editor's Choice Award as a as a book for youth in nonfiction for older older, older readers category. That same year, it also won the American Liter the American Library Association Quick Picks for reluctant young adult readers, as well as was on the top 10 list for Rise, which is a female book project. Once again, Lori Hells Anderson proved her writing ability as well as her ability to impact others and touch the hearts in this groundbreaking autobiography. What makes Shout so special or no noteworthy is how it's a raw and authentic look at sexual assault. With it being an autobiography, it takes a real amount of bravery and courage to be willing to put your story out there for others to read. However, that's what Lori Halls Anderson did. She did it because she saw the impact that Speak had on other people. Shout enlightens readers on the sexual assault that Lori Halls Anderson has faced and how it has happened to other people or could happen to other people. It also goes to show that everyone has the potential to be capable of sexual assault and that you never really know who someone is or if you can really trust them because it could all be just a facade. Overall, Shout opens up readers to the world and around them and the demons that, that, that reside there. Shout is a book that would probably be recommended to read any read by anyone 15 years old or older, given the audio the autobiography tackles serious issues like rape, domestic abuse, and drug and alcohol abuse. Because of the severity of those topics, it would be best for teens and old, those older to read read the autobiography as opposed to younger readers. Older readers will have the critical thinking skills to understand the topics addressed in the book that those that are younger may not. It's important though that those readers are aware of the content they are about to read so, so that they can be in the right mental headspace and it won't be tr and they won't be triggered by anything that they're reading about. As long as readers are aware what what they're about to be reading and they feel comfortable with it, it should be okay for them to read it. Shout is a book that I would recommend to anyone, but only once the readers are the appropriate age of 15 years or older to be reading it. Now how I would use Shout with adolescents and how to teach them is I would use it to educate them about sexual assault. Now it's a lot more complicated than people make it seem in reality. There are a lot of misconceptions about sexual assault as well. For example, people often think that rapists are typically strangers or people we haven't been in contact with. However, that's not the case, and most of the time, rapists are the people that their victims see on a day-to-day -day basis and are close with. I would also use the book to display how important it is to believe victims and to take sexual assault seriously. With how often rape and sexual assault gets dismissed, I would want my students to feel safe enough to come forward if they've been in similar situations. As for the students that haven't, I would hope that them reading the book would allow them to possibly reevaluate how they see sexual assault and stand up for it. Overall, I would just hope that by reading the book, students could see that sexual assault isn't as black and white and that they would do something to change it. Thank you for listening to my book talk on Shout by Lori Hells Anderson. And I hope you, and I hope you enjoyed it and give the book a chance.